Introducing the life of Huang Zitao, please subscribe to our channel. Huang Zitao was born in Qingdao, Shandong, China. As a child, he undertook wushu training, and became a student athlete. In late 2010, he reluctantly accompanied a friend to an NBC star audition which was hosting a global talent search and was immediately scouted by a representative from SM Entertainment. According to a music teacher in Shandong Qingdao No. 47 Middle School, the school Zitao attended, he was a really shy student who began opening up and becoming popular with his schoolmates after partaking in the school's mini music concert every semester. That same teacher encouraged him to go down the musical path. Headmaster Wei Taiying also made a comment on Zitao, saying that he would come to him to state his own thoughts and opinions when being encountered by a problem in school. Zitao's hobbies varied in singing, dancing, basketball, photography, wushu, etc. Yi Zi, once a dance instructor of his, mentioned, but actually what he loves doing the most would be wushu and playing the guitar. He stated, he was always quiet during break time, he doesn't really talk much, and always plays his guitar by the window alone. Music Career 2011 to 2015, EXO and lawsuit against SM Entertainment. On December 27, 2011, Zitao was formally introduced as the third member of EXO, with the stage name Tao, through a teaser posted on SM Entertainment's official YouTube channel. He made his first appearance at the SBS Gao Taejun event on December 29. In the following years, EXO was met with global success as a group. In late 2013, Zitao took part in filming for NBC's celebrity diving program Splash. However, after a run of four episodes, the show was cancelled when a number of celebrities, including Zitao, were reportedly injured. The series aired from August 23, 2013 to September 13, 2013. In 2014, Zitao appeared in the music videos for Zhang Lin's singles, A Gape, released August 5th, and Not Alone, released September 22nd. During the two videos, Zitao played the main protagonist of a continuous storyline alongside Victoria Song. He also featured on two songs from Zhou Mi's album Rewind, the title song, Rewind, and Love Tonight, for both of which he penned the rap lyrics, and appeared as a cast member of the Solomon Islands edition of the SBS reality television program Laws of the Jungle. He left the show early due to a foot injury on a coral reef during filming. The episodes aired from October 17, 2014 to October 31, 2014. Acting and Variety Zitao made his first film appearance as William in You Are My Sunshine alongside Huang Xiaoming and Yang Mi. The film was released on May 1, 2015. On September 7, 2015, Zitao attended the press conference of his first reality variety show Charming Daddy which was aired on SCTV from November 28, 2015 to February 20, 2016. The show documented him and three other celebrities as they experienced parenthood by raising children of various ages for a month. On March 2, 2016, it was confirmed that Zitao would appear in the first season of the Chinese version of Law of the Jungle that was recorded in Madagascar and Vanuatu with a guest appearance from Kim Byung-man, who he collaborated with in the Korean version in Solomon's Island. The show was aired on Anhui TV in May. He has been cast for roles in numerous upcoming productions, Edge of Innocence, based upon a novel titled Summer, Portrait of a 19-Year-Old by Japanese mystery writer Soji Shimada, and movie adaptation of the Feynman Temple Code novels, directed by Sui Hark. He has also been cast in dramas, A Chinese Odyssey, Love You a Million Years, an adaptation of Chinese Odyssey, playing the modern version of The Monkey King as well as The Negotiator a spin-off of the 2016 hit drama Dear Translator. In September 2016, he joined the second season of Hunan TV's military variety program Takes a Real Man. After the program aired, Zitao started to gain more fans. 
In December 2016, Zitao starred in the action comedy Railroad Tigers directed by Ding Sheng, alongside Jackie Chan. The movie was a hit at the box office, and Tao was praised for his performance. In 2017, Zitao starred in the martial arts film The Game Changer, directed by Gao Cixi and inspired by the Chinese television series The Bund. Martial Arts Zitao has received formal training in Wushu since the age of five. Competing in his hometown of Qingdao, he won first place for cudgel play, second place for swordsmanship and third place at the International Championships of Martial Arts. The one who got him to learn martial arts at a young age was his father, due to Zitao being very naughty as a child. His father wanted to train and discipline him and thus Zitao began learning during his primary school days. His experience with school is different from other students, in which he stays until 12 at night while others go home around 5 or 6 in the evening. Because of an almost fatal injury to the head that resulted in 43 stitches, he had stopped training for a year. According to his father, Zitao's views about martial arts when he was 5 years old is that it should never be used for fighting and only for self-defense. During a 2016 Happy Camp episode, Zitao himself reinstated this. Endorsements Video Games on June 3, 2015, Zitao was introduced as the celebrity endorser for the mobile game Almighty Team. Zitao, who is known to be an avid player of video games, has two major characters modeled after him and they display his own unique martial arts movements. In October 2015, Zitao along with Yang Mi was announced as one of the celebrity endorser of the online game I'm the Sovereign. He assumed the role of the game's main character Mu Chen in the advertising campaign. Along with being the celebrity endorser for the game, Zitao was chosen to be the singer-songwriter and producer of the game's theme song, and music director for the game.